Well, when I first came to Occupy, it was on the first day, and um, I mean, the, the energy was, was pretty high, the, the sun was out, and so it was, I mean, it looked to me like 10,000 people out kind of having a big party, and uh, it, it felt great, like kind of, you know, bigger than any other gathering for, for this kind of, kind of cause, so. Pretty much, I, my aim at first was to uh, was to grab portraits of all the people that I knew that were there, and um, and then from there I kind of shifted attention into into the tents and just kind of was was baffled that this was happening in the middle of the city in front of the art gallery, and it looked great. You know? And so I went back pretty much every day for at least like an hour or two and spend some time, sometimes more, and try to uh, get some more portraits and try to see who was, uh, who was around and how, like, how meetings were going, how things were getting discussed. And, uh, and from there, like, it, it seemed like, you know, this is like the, the initial like, state of confusion almost was, um, it felt good, right? Like it felt like, okay, this is, this is what, what I imagined it to look like or in any situation where it's like, you know, you get tossed into a room of strangers and, uh, and you, you have these issues to discuss, like how, how do you address these things? Um, so I became kind of, you know, fascinated by, um, by the way they were organizing. And um, I think what surprised me most was, uh, was how, how inclusive it was trying to be, right? Like when, when someone would have like an issue or a different point of view, they weren't, you know, automatically like kind of dumbed down or made to feel stupid or something. Um, and, and needless to say, I mean, you can't, can't really make everyone happy. So, you know, we, you, you see like, you see some emotion, you see like some people like let down, you see them kind of, okay, like your point wasn't taken or, you know, uh, vice versa. But, um, so yeah, that, that was, that was kind of what surprised me. But at the same time, you know, like I, I felt like, okay, this is, this is a normal process. It almost feels like, you know, almost feels like a, a family situation in a way where it's like, okay, you, you, you speak your mind, you, you say what you want and you go from there. The camera's a bit detaching. Like I find it like there is something about being on the perimeter and having that kind of like objectivity, or I, I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I, I'm explaining this well. The the portraits that I'm, that I'm taking, they they they're close to me. I mean, the people that I'm meeting, I, I, I I'm, I'm attached to them in, in one way or another, or I I admire them in one one way or another, and. Uh, and that admiration to me is, you know, that, that's, that's what excites me about, about the camera, that's what excites me about getting these portraits, and I, I kind of want to, you know, be able to contribute something, give something back for, for having the fact that they let me take their, their picture. The two most important things to me in, in photography or when you're holding the camera is uh, perspective, you know, what do you see as being important, and uh, timing. You know how how involved are you in the moment to be able to capture that moment, and so I think right now, like we're we're going through a big, big moment with Occupy, and you know, even if there isn't that much support for it in Vancouver, like we we know that you know the rest of the world has got her back with it, and having that that sense of uh, I don't know unity in a way. Um, it, it, it's, it's comforting, right? Like it's kind of, you know, it, it feels good. What would Occupy, I think, provided for the people who are ready or have been have been waiting for this moment for a long time was a space to kind of kind of meet each other, right? Yeah, the issues, uh, the, I mean, environmental, political, like economic. Uh, it seems like, you know, they're all coming to head at the same time, but they're all part of the same issue at the same time, and now it's, with Occupy, what I feel it's doing, it's, it's kind of bringing them together and giving some coherence, saying that one's like related to the other as opposed to, you know, say from, I'm guessing the 70s on, it seemed like people just kind of branched off into these 
little groups and kind of like, you know, pick their fight. Whereas uh, now I think, you know, it's, uh, we're getting a little more specific into, into who we're fighting and, and exactly what we're fighting. And well, the word Occupy has some, uh, some kind of, you know, connotations that I have contempt for. Um, but now that we're, we're talking about, you know, occupying, like, it's, uh, it, it's taken on a new shape and it's, it's kind of taken the word back. It means essentially changing and, uh, you know, finding a, a way to make, you know, assign new values. We, we really only know one system our whole lives and so I think, you know, occupy another system. That's, uh, that's great. Yeah, that's all I got.